Welcome to the farmhouse. Today, I'm going to share a quick and easy weeknight pizza recipe. Put the ingredients for this recipe on the screen, but I'm also going to go ahead and put them down in the description below, as well as some of the other items you'll need. First, you want to take your warm water, about 120 degrees. To that, you'll add your sugar, your yeast, your garlic and onion powder, as well as your salt. Mix that thoroughly. At this time, you'll add half of the flour that the recipe calls for. I used three and a quarter cups in today. However, that was because we had a rainy day and I thought I would need a little extra flour. Put your mixer with the mixer paddle on speed two and let that mix thoroughly for three minutes. Don't forget to set your timer. After your three minutes are up, scrape your paddle. Go ahead at this point and scrape the bowl, getting any remnants of flour off of the edges. Put your dough hook attachment on and add the rest of your flour. Once you add the rest of the flour with the dough hook attachment, you'll want to put your mixer on level two and let that mix continuously for about six to eight minutes, depending on the consistency of your dough. You'll see here that I end up having to add a little bit more water back into the dough because remember I adjusted it and add a little flour because I thought it, the rainy day would make a difference and it didn't, so I had to equal that back out. So you'll see me here adding water. I'll pause the mixer, reach in, squeeze the dough to incorporate the water that I added inside the dough and then back to mixing. I did mix for a total of eight minutes. Once you see the dough starting to pull away from the side, you're almost there. As you can see, the dough has pulled all of the flour away from the sides of the bowl. At this point, it's time to take it out of the mixer and take a look at our dough. Here I'm testing for the stretch of the dough and the gluten in the dough. I have to yank it really hard to get it to rip. At this point, you'll want to roll the dough into a nice ball. Get you some olive oil, or if you already measured it out and have it reserved, and place that in your bowl. You want to then coat the entire dough ball with that oil. Cover it with a little saran wrap so it doesn't dry out and then cover with a tea towel. You'll want to let this rest for 20 to 30 minutes. That's it. Get your pizza pan or your pizza stone and pizza peel ready for the next step. The dough is ready after 20 minutes. I remove it from the bowl, place it on the counter, divide the dough in half. This recipe will make two pizzas cover the extra dough up so it doesn't dry out and begin to work the first piece. Flour your surface, form your dough. You'll want to press it out using your fingers flipping and pressing. You can also use the rolling pin to stretch it out as you go. 
and form it into the shape and size and thickness of crust that you enjoy and that your family enjoys. Now, if you're using a pizza peel, you will also need some cornmeal. Now, if your pizza pan doesn't have the holes for aeration and crispness, crispness that mine has, and you're using just a flat solid pizza uh, aluminum pan, you'll also want to use some of the cornmeal on that as well instead of the pizza peel. Here I have a peel and a stone, and I already have my stone in the oven preheating on 425 degrees. This way, when I'm done making my pizza, it's ready to go. I add a little olive oil on my crust and brush it around with a pastry brush. This allows the crust to not get as soggy from the marinara. I use homemade marinara from our garden. Here I'm putting on some Romano cheese. There's that marinara I mentioned. Spreading that out just evenly on the surface. At this point, I add my turkey pepperoni. Don't forget to go all the way to the edges. Little bit of mozzarella cheese, or a lot of it. We don't use a whole lot of mozzarella. I find it makes for a soggy middle crust. A little Italian blend seasoning. And last, some provolone slices on top for good measure. Slide that into your preheated oven, and after 20 minutes, poof! Fresh, hot pizza right out of your oven. Only took maybe an hour to make. So easy, so delicious, so much better for you. No processed food here. Yum! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to ring the bell. And until next time, have a great day.